are you smarter than a ten-year-old? I could sit and listen to that all fucking day. We're up to November now on the return of ITV's garish reenactment of Cannibal Holocaust. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here! You know, it's worth noting that this year reality TV viewers have proved themselves to be a pretty liberal bunch. They were appalled by racism in Celebrity Big Brother, turned off by Jim Davidson's homophobic nonsense in Hell's Kitchen, they voted for the first black winner of Big Brother, and when the King of the Jungle kissed his husband on live TV, no one batted an eyelid. Oh, and they let Pete Doherty win the X Factor. December means Christmas. You can tell when Christmas is coming, the nights get darker, the air gets colder, and the toy commercials get more bewildering. Meet Brian the Brain. He's robotic, chaotic, and totally neurotic. And he's way smart. What's your password? Chess. Brian plays games and is loaded with features. Billion Brian actually gets to know you. Kill it. Don't forget football at 4.30. Brian the Brain. I wouldn't want that in my house just in case it plunged a probe into my spine and turned me into a battery. Speaking of progress, it's good to see Iceland continuing to push the boundaries of what's considered edible. With a hint of sweet chilli. What next? Cheese elbows? Pork helicopters? Chicken lasagna squirkles? Blockbuster ads featuring a galaxy of stars are becoming increasingly popular at Christmas. m and have opted for a movie pastiche in which girls haul themselves in a bid to impress Antonio Banderas. Sainsbury's have given Jamie Oliver an army of tiny slaves whose hard work he doesn't even acknowledge like a c Asda continue their intensely patronising campaign in which celebs slum it with the proletariat in a bid to shift more units for the man. Look at the rib capacity on this. <laughs> now get back to stacking those shelves. Tesco have probably won overall by hiring the Spice Girls. Merry Christmas. Someone's singing voice has improved. Hi, I'm looking for Christmas presents to surprise some girlfriends. You know, Posh Spice is so bad in this, it's the first time in history a human being's been outacted by a trolley. I feel sorry for Morrison's, which looks like it had to make do with all the leftover celebrities no one else wanted. All oh, that Dermot Gavin. You got enough in there, Alan? Must be Christmas. <laughs> yes, Alan. Ha ha ha. What a card. Well, that was 2007. I'll be back in 2008. And now, to play us out in a tribute to the late Ronnie Hazelhurst, who died this year, it's Matt Berry and his band with some music. Merry Christmas.